guys what's up good afternoon today i'm going to do the re-unboxing for the new asus rog g752 vs well it's my new laptop i just kind of just bought it around two weeks ago actually i've used it for these two weeks but i'm going to do re-unboxing and then i'm going to do a little bit review about the laptop laptop itself is cost me around three thousand four hundred and ninety nine uh, Australian dollar because right now I'm currently living at Australian Sydney so let's see for the box yep <coughs> as you can see it's a Axus ROG G752 VS well as you can see <coughs> the box is kind of interesting we got the image of the laptop which is exactly like that and when you flip the box to the back, you can see everything. And there is the spec of the laptop. Well, you can see for the laptop, ID color, I want a gray LCD, 7.3 inch, slim, and free RAM is about 8 gig, CPU is Intel i7, and then HDD is 1 terabyte. And then I got the SSD too, 256 GB, which is uh, DDR4, RAM 16 GB, multiplied by 2, then it's 32 GB RAM. And then for the graphic card, it's currently is a GTX GeForce uh, 1070, which is a 10 series and really nice for the graphic card itself. <coughs> so right now I'm going to do So if you can see inside the box over the right is for the plate for the adapter all the cable is around here and everything so there's the cable and this is the adapter for the axis which is just really incredible uh, adapter so you will meet with the other adapter it's a machine <laughs> well at least it's from the Asus already so and this one the the white one is here is the laptop itself <coughs> I'm gonna leave it up and then the other thing at the bottom of the laptop is the warranty well I'm sorry because I've opened this before this is a warranty form and then this is the manual card <coughs> this is actually the <coughs> cable tie but actually I've used it already because I already used this letter for around two weeks and this is the cable tie I use for the cable so as you can see, this is the Axis ROG G752 VS. Well, because of the weight is around 4 kilos, so you don't need to worry once you open the monitor with one hand. And you can just open it right away because it won't lift up like the other laptop, like the normal laptop. <coughs> so let's see. Let me review first from the keyboard. As you can see from the keyboard, it's a really, really nice keyboard. We got the arrow over right, which is a little bit below than the other rest of his friend. And then we got the micro key on the top of here. It's the M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. It's for use the micro key. Whatever micro key you want to put it, you can put it inside and program it. <coughs> So, as you know, this laptop is a VR ready, so you can play any kind of VR game with this laptop because it's already a VR ready. <coughs> it's a really nice laptop, and once you open this laptop, you will be able to open the light, the red light over here, and over here. And let me spin this around. This one is the back of the laptop. So 
the airflow is going to going out from this to spot and I I haven't take this out because I always I always keep on put it off once I'm not using the laptop and when I'm going to use it I'm going to open it right away and the laptop is actually really really nice stylish because before I, I'm going to think like why the color is gray why it's not the black and orange so it's could be really really cool but right now I really feel like this color is really really best so I'm gonna leave this up <laughs> so at the bottom of the letter we can see inside of the machine this is and if you want to open the machine you can open this with a screw and there is um yeah where to to open the laptop the laptop itself has a width 428mm depth 300 324mm and hey 33mm 43mm which is a really large laptop for the normal size and you well you can like always bring this laptop around because it was really heavy for a laptop so I'm going to do uh, just turn on the laptop and we're gonna count what time the laptop have to uh, start up so 15 so it's exactly a 15 second start up the laptop yep well you can turn on the laptop keyboard like as you can see you can adjust the light whether you want to turn it off make it a little bit lighter or just really make it on fully on well I really li like a really nice clean desktop of mine so I always put everything on the start pin so I always put it there so yeah I don't need to make my desktop look dirty and so mess up well if you can see here for the marker when you push this button it's going to be the X split which you can use for the streaming and for the recording game caster yep and as you can see webcam yep there it is we have webcam and there's a microphone too and then there's a speaker with just a back monitor yep that is and then there's also speaker for the bass at the bottom which is this one yep well you practically can play any game using this laptop and actually I do have a couple of games which I always play and do with this laptop so I already put the macro for the steam on the M2 and I put the battlenet for offbox at the M3 Well, if you guys want to know about my mouse, I'm currently using a USB Wi-Fi mouse, which is is a Logitech G900, with a really really nice mouse, the best Wi-Fi mouse I've ever 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 used before. So I'm going to try out Grand Theft Auto and I'm going to let you guys see what this laptop can do. First game that I have for the high quality and I'm going to show you 
呃、uh, how the graphic on the Dota 2 too, because mostly I was playing Dota 2 and then Overwatch. Today I just started play recently and I still don't really know how to play it actually. Yep. Of course, be this one, and then I put everything on the very, very high, very high, very high. Then, yep, I change. Oh, I'm doing the review about the graphic on GTA V. Using the GTS GeForce Nvidia GeForce GTS 1070. So as you can see, the gameplay of the GTA 5 graphic is really, really smooth, and I keep on falling in love in the graphic. Yeah, it's exactly a really nice rendering. For the gameplay of the GTA 5, as you know, I put on the worst version the fullest, and all the effect is on a very, very high settings. So yeah, so nice, yeah. Yep. <coughs> so. I probably I probably going to do another review for another game, and I actually already purchased Watch Dog 2, which I'm gonna do, download it on 29 November later, because it's still on pre-order and I can only download it on 29 November later. So I'm gonna do a gameplay of the Watch Dog 2 later. Thanks guys. That's all for today. We unboxing and review of the Asus ROG 752 VS. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you again next time.